If you've been following this channel, you're probably aware of the fact that Doha Cat is one of the industry's current quote, it girls. Like the many others who preceded her, and the many others who will follow her, Doha Cat is currently profiting from an artificial inorganic surge of media attention. This translates to magazine photo shoots, invitations to high-profile events such as the Met Gala, and lucrative contracts with companies such as Victoria's Secret. However, like the other quote, at girls, Doha Cat success comes at a steep price. She must fully comply with the industry's sick satanic agenda, while allowing herself to be reduced to the state of industry slave. Here are some examples taken from the last few months. This is Doha Cat at the 2023 Balenciaga show. Yes, the same Balenciaga that released a disgusting ad campaign. At the show, Doha had shaved and bleached hair, which is a classic way of identifying MK slaves. Also, her makeup was purposely made to look as if she had a black eye and a bruised lip, a reference to the abuse of industry slaves. Her 27th birthday party was a highly symbolic affair that was inspired by Eyes Wide Shut, a movie about elite X rituals. Her birthday cake featured magnetic symbols, such as the square and compass, and the all-seeing eye inside a triangle. That party was a gathering of industry slaves, like Justin Bieber, Kendall Jenner, Ariana Grande, and many more, all united to celebrate the It Slave of the Moment. Several pictures of Doha half-naked were leaked, most likely planned. It was all about submission. Everything surrounding Doha keeps getting darker and more blatantly satanic. On the cover of the previous single, Doha is naked and covered in blood. The inverted triangle over her body looks like a cup filled with blood. The caption says, let's begin with a drop of blood. These photos show Doha Cat arrived at Paris Fashion Week covered in red and attended a show titled Inferno Couture, which was inspired by Dante's Inferno and the Nine Circles of Hell. In other words, this is low-key satanic stuff while also showcasing Doha Cat's status as an industry slave. One way of identifying a current industry at girls is by the fact that they're often draped in red. Appropriately enough, Doha's latest single is titled Paint the Town Red. Even more appropriately enough, the song is all about sacrificing one's soul to be in the good graces of the industry. Let's look at this symbolic video. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. As seen before, Doha Cat is slowly but surely introducing her fans to outright Satanism. Appropriately enough, in her video Paint the Town Red, she literally takes her viewers to hell. The video is so blatant that even mainstream media have to acknowledge its diabolical nature. This is a headline from Rolling Stone. However, even faced with the most blatantly satanic video, mainstream media finds to rationalize the imagery by explaining that she's being a rebel or something. Newsflash. This video is the exact opposite of rebellion. It is about enslavement. Ain't the Town Red begins with Doha naked and drenched in blood, like on the cover seen before. Doha places her hand over one eye, effectively performing a one-eye sign. But Doha takes that sign to a whole other level. Doha rips the eyeball out of her skull and places it on a table. The entire video will revolve around that eyeball. Right from the start, we're in full occult elite territory. The scene uses the same imagery as the movie The Neon Demon, which is about the dark side of the fashion world. The removal of the eye triggers a series of diabolic events. Then, Doha rides a devil-like figure while eyeballs hang in the background. Meanwhile, the song's lyrics explain how Doha is willing to sacrifice herself for fame. Yeah, I said what I said. I'd rather be famous instead. I let all that get to my head. I don't care. I paint the town red. The expression paint the town red means to go on a reckless debauch, to be wildly extravagant. However, in the context of the song, it is also a reference to Doha being constantly draped in red, the color of initiation and sacrifice. 
The next scene confirms this fact rather clearly. This scene shows Doha stands with the Grim Reaper, the personification of death, while she is fully draped in red, the color of sacrifice. Doha standing with the Grim Reaper is a reference to blood sacrifice. It is also a reference to the metaphoric death of the occult initiate, leading to rebirth. At one point, Doha drenched in blood appears on the Grime Reaper's side while she raps you can't take that nowhere. The blood-drenched Doha refers to the blood sacrifice and the death of her old persona. After flying in the sky with the devil and chilling on earth with the Grim Reaper, Doha goes further down. Way down. Doha finds herself in a stylized version of hell, as she gets very close to the devil. The lyrics of the post-chorus confirm that we are not imagining things. Hmm, she the devil, she a bad little she a rebel. She put her foot to the pedal, it'll take a whole lot for me to settle. Other than calling herself the devil, she also calls herself a rebel, a word that always irks me when it comes to satanic crap. There's nothing rebellious about doing this stuff, it is literally the prevailing dogma. Even worse, it is the only dogma that is currently acceptable in mass media. In other words, she is just following orders, and that's the exact opposite of being rebellious. In the following line, she talks about how she puts her foot to the pedal, which is a reference to her prioritizing her career and success above anything else. In short, the song constantly links Satanism with success. That's the entire point of the song. For some reason, one of the devil's horns is cut off. At one point, Doha hands the devil the broken horn, but drops it before he can grab it. In another scene, Doha walks around with a cart holding raw meat. Once again, this is a reference to blood sacrifice and even... The occult elite consumes raw blood for its magical potency. After all of this satanic madness, Doha cuts off the eyeball that's been hanging around the entire video. Then, we're back at the first scene with Doha drenched in blood. She grabs her eyeball and pops it back in her head. This entire video was a literal one-eye sign. After she removed her eye, which symbolizes her submission to dark forces, we witness the satanic ritual sacrifice that is required for Doha and other artists to be successful. One doesn't need to be an expert in symbolism to understand that paint the town red is satanic. However, even when faced with such blatant symbolism, the media will rationalize it by saying that she's poking fun at her haters and that she's trolling. None of this is happening. All of this was planned, even the backlash against her. Here's the harsh truth. To be successful in today's industry, you do not need to please your fans. You need to please the industry. If you're a chosen one, the industry will generate the artificial media attention one requires to be famous. We call these people industry plants. To Doha Cat, all of this is worth it because she's putting her foot to the pedal. However, there's one thing she overlooked. The ride she's on has no brake pedals. The only way to stop is by crashing. Ask Brittany and the countless other it girls that preceded her. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.